Hey kindergarten, how are you guys? It's so good to be with you again. So I know it looks a little bit different than our past videos, but this unit we learned all about the church. So what we're gonna do today is take a tour through our church, St. Anthony of Padua. I'm gonna walk you through the chapel, through church, and show you some of the different things inside the church and the chapel. And I'm also gonna point out some of the different things that are happening and that look a little different than usual because we're in the season of Lent as we get ready for Easter. So come on with me and we'll go take a tour of the church. Before we go inside, let's start with the outside of our church. Out front, there is a statue of our patron saint, St. Anthony of Padua. St. Anthony is often seen in statues and pictures holding lilies and the baby Jesus. St. Anthony is the patron saint of lost things. There is a little prayer that you can pray if you ever lose something. Dear St. Anthony, please come around. Something is lost and cannot be found. I pray to St. Anthony every time I lose something and he always helps me find what I'm looking for. Let's go inside. When you walk into church, you can either go directly into the main church or you can take a turn into the Mary Chapel. This is my favorite part of St. Anthony's Church. In the back of the chapel, there are two rooms, which are called the Reconciliation Rooms. This is where parishioners and you in a couple years will go when you receive your first reconciliation. Now in the front of the church, there's usually a statue of Mary, but you can see that she's covered right now. During the season of Lent, towards the end of Lent, we cover the statues as a sign that we are preparing for Holy Week as we remember Jesus' death and resurrection. Now we don't often look up in church, but if you look up in the Mary Chapel, there is a stained glass window of a dove. A dove is the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Take a look the next time you're in the chapel. Now on the side of the wall in the Mary Chapel are five stained glass windows. And because this is the Mary Chapel, these are all stained glass windows that remember different stories that include Mary, Jesus' birth, the Annunciation, when the angel Gabriel told Mary that she would have the baby Jesus. And the crowning of Mary as Queen of Heaven, just to name a few. As we walk into church, you can see how very empty it is right now, since it's a weekday. But when we move to the weekend on Saturday night and Sunday, these pews are slowly filling up with more and more people to attend the weekend masses on Saturday night and Sunday morning. Let's go take a look at the different special items on the altar. The first item we're going to look at is the baptismal font. If you were baptized at St. Anthony's, this is where you were baptized. When you lift the lid, you put water inside, and this is where babies are baptized at St. Anthony's. This is the Easter candle. It's a little short right now, but on Easter Sunday, a big tall candle will replace this candle. This candle is replaced every year on Easter. These two chairs are where Monsignor and the deacon sit for mass. And this is the altar. This is where the priest, most often Monsignor McHenry, celebrates the Mass and consecrates or blesses the bread and wine as they become the body and blood of Jesus. This gold container with the cross on top is called the tabernacle. The tabernacle holds the blessed bread, now the body of Christ, between Masses. As we turn around, I'll give you a view of what it looks like from Monsignor McHenry's view when he celebrates Mass 
as he looks out at the congregation or all of the people who were attending Mass. If you look behind Monsignor McHenry's chair, you'll see this candle. This is called the sanctuary lamp. This candle is lit whenever the consecrated or blessed bread, Jesus' body, is in the tabernacle. In the back corner of the church, you'll see this silver container. This holds holy water. If you ever want to take holy water to someone special, or if you want to have holy water at home to bless yourself, you can dispense some holy water from this into a special holy water container and take it home with you. As you walk around the back of the church, you'll see these pictures on the wall, which are kind of like sculptures. These are the Stations of the Cross. Each of these sculptures or stations remembers one moment on Jesus' journey towards his death, his crucifixion. Every Friday night during the season of Lent, St. Anthony's and its parishioners pray the Stations of the Cross in church. While the story of Jesus' death is a sad one, we know that there will be a happy ending because of his resurrection or being raised from the dead on Easter Sunday. As you arrive at the other end of the church, you'll come to the prayer candles. Anyone can come in and light a candle to remember a prayer intention that they have, something they want to pray for. You'll often always see at least one, if not more, candles lit. There is also a kneeler or a space to pray if you want to spend more time talking to God about your prayer intention. Before we head back outside, let's take a look at the stained glass windows. St. Anthony's has so many stained glass windows. Each one tells a story of a special person like Jesus or Mary or a special saint. The next time you're at St. Anthony's, take a look at the stained glass windows and see if you can tell which story is being told in each one. Finally, outside, in the back of the parking lot, is a statue of Mary. Many people stop here to pray to Mary during the day, before they go to work, or on their way home. You can see on Mary's hands that there are rosaries that people leave as a sign of their prayer to her. Let's take a moment now to say a Hail Mary together as we stand in front of Mary's statue. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi again, kindergarten. Welcome back, and thank you so much for joining me on our mini church tour today. I hope that you get to visit church very soon in person, and I'm sure you all will be experts after having already gone on a mini church tour from home. So in your Flipgrid, I would like you to answer the question, what is one thing you learned on our church tour today? You can tell me about your favorite part of the church tour or something that you saw in the church tour that you haven't seen before. So I would love to hear what you learned. Right now we are in the season of Lent and we're preparing for Easter. And one thing that I love to do during Lent is make sure that I pray for other people. So if you have a prayer intention that you would like me to pray for, I would love for you to share it and I will be sure to keep you and your prayer intention in my prayers as we approach Easter. I wanna wish you and your families a very happy Easter. Enjoy the nicer weather and I will see you soon. Bye.